you are students in a 1302 class at UTPA. He's going to be himself. He is him, English 1302 professor at UTPA. So here's our scenario. You need to know about research and writing at UTPA, right? That's what 1302 classes are about. What is it? Why do we, faculty, write? Why do we do research? Why do we make you do it? What's the point? I want you to write down a question or two on that index card. Something that you want me to ask him about writing or research at UTPA. Something, an interview question that you want to see us give an answer for. Sorry. I don't know why Dream of Genie is my game show. Why, yeah, why is that your game show song? <laughs> an actual game show. And are you and me the only ones who know what you just hummed? <laughs> You can let Jonica shuffle and yes. pick them. Pass them. I write your question. Pass them to the right. Maybe you don't have a question about writing your research, but what's something you want to know? You haven't met him yet. What's a question you have for him? <laughs> <laughs> write it down. Is that the answer? I can ask it. Should I leave you now? <laughs> See if that's two feet by three. Yeah, that's right.
questionable death. Or suspicious, depending on which text message you got first. <laughs> Where is the best place to start researching why? Wherever you happen to be at the time that you have a question. <laughs> that was not good, was it? <laughs> okay, well, no, 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 why? Wherever I was, wherever I had the question, okay. Because if you put off doing research when the moment grabs you, you will probably not get it done until the night before it's due. What's your favorite? I should just leave. No. <laughs> what is your favorite topic to do research on? That I can talk about publicly? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said that on tape too. My favorite topic to do research. I don't know. My least favorite topic is anything my children have to do for school. But I don't want my favorite. <laughs> I like this question. Why do we have to write to demonstrate our intelligence? <laughs> I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't have my writing teacher t-shirt on, so I can say that. I don't think you do have to write so, to demonstrate your intelligence. Do you think it's that... Just you writing, in particular, but not everybody. So do you think it's that the demonstrating intelligence part isn't... Is it accurate, or do you think it's some? I think writing is not necessarily the only way or the best way to measure someone's intelligence. It depends. It's all. It's totally contextual. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how I would measure someone's intelligence anyway. The I should not. I shouldn't. Yeah. I have no idea how to answer that. These are really fun. <laughs> You're not going to. How let me much any research more do we have to do in your class? In my class, as much as you need to answer the question satisfactorily. Or until you give up. Oh. <laughs> oh. In what ways do you think research projects can help students here at Pan Air? Oh, God. Um, well, if you survive it and you hate doing it, you'll at least learn how to survive something that you hate doing. But if you actually research something you care about, um, I know a lot of our students do research projects and they end up doing really cool things when they're juniors and seniors. It's an introduction to either their field or doing research that's meaningful, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or learning what it means to do research that's meaningful. Learning how to answer questions that matter to you. Yeah. So that's this, really not a UTPA thing. Though. I don't think so, but I do. I think it's a you question, and I think it, it kind of falls into the what do you value most when it comes to teaching? Is that a follow-up question? Oh, oh shit. Question. That was good. I liked what you did that. Okay, say it again. I lost it. What do you value you most when it comes to teaching? Uh, it's something that Jonica says, so where is she? Because I can't remember. What is it that I'm supposed to value most? Is it? Oh, there's that. Everything. People always ask writing teachers that thing, and you have a really great line, but I. And now you're like, no, I don't. And it's, uh, what do I. I hope that. I hope that um, students can learn. Well, I hope human beings can learn how to ask really good questions and listen to the answers. That's what I. Every student that came through a classroom and learned how to do just that, I would be just happy. Of course, then I'd have inflated grades because I'd give everybody an A. All right, I'm done. You can leave. Okay. Fine. <laughs> All right. So, what would you call Mariah's interviewer persona on that? There you go. <laughs> what did you notice? Let, let's start with what you think I did wrong. What are some things that you think I did wrong <coughs> that I need to remember if I'm going to interview him again? So there was no context for the interview, right? I didn't tell him who I was. I didn't tell him why I was there. I didn't tell him what my question was. Good. What else didn't I do? How many questions did she ask? Let me ask a specific one. How many questions? Anybody count? Did she ask more than three? Yes. Did she ask less than 15? Yes. How many minutes were we doing that? Five, six. Maybe five or six minutes? Do you remember every answer he gave to each question exactly as he said it? What should I have done, maybe? Written it down. Written it down, right? What else could I have done if I have really bad handwriting or I write really slow? Recorded. recorded it, right? I could have gotten my phone out and turned on my voice memo and recorded it that way, right? I could have taken a video camera. I could have taken my laptop and turned it on that way, right? Turned on GarageBand or whatever. 
Okay? What else didn't I ask him to do? There were six things you're supposed to do as an ethical researcher, and the first one is informed consent, right? Not only did I not tell him what I was doing, I didn't get his permission. I didn't ask him if he wanted to be interviewed or if he would sign my interview release, right? Because here's the thing, just because he agrees to be interviewed doesn't mean I have permission to quote him, right? Doesn't mean I have permission to use his name. I don't know if he wants to be Dr. Charlton. Maybe he wants to be Han Solo, right? Who am I to judge? If he wants to be Han, I should be able to call him Han, right? Okay, what did you notice about the questions? How did the phrasing of the questions affect his answers? reading strategies do you it. use? And what did he say? You said it. I just can't hear you. For students or for him. Yeah, for students or for him. Or what did I say? Forget it. Forget it. Right? And moved on. Is there a better way I could have done that maybe? As an interviewer, what should I have done? rephrase it or said why don't you tell me about both right because maybe I was only thinking about one reading strategy but then he brought up two possibilities and so I was thinking oh I hadn't considered that so rather than being like oh I didn't think about that you're just you're gonna play it cool right so go ahead and tell me about both <laughs> right pretend like you meant to get that response from him right what else did you notice about our interaction did I do anything right? Did I do something good that you noticed? At any point, did I ask him to tell me more? No. Was there any point where you actually wanted her to say, tell me more? I know I'm not interested, but were there moments where I said something that you thought, no, no, keep going, or whatever? Or did that not happen? Do you Besides remember what those moments were? Besides, Besides building. Besides <laughs> Ah, yeah. Why didn't we start with talking about the science building and acknowledging what we're all thinking? Like, A, what happened, and B, why are we still here? Right? <laughs> That's what you're thinking. Don't pretend you're not. I wasn't comfortable with you asked that question. That was really hot. And I'm not uncomfortable with you as a, as a normal thing, but I don't like this exactly. <laughs> at all. And that's important, right? I don't like this. This is something that you want to think about. Your job as an interviewer is you're basically asking this person to go on a date with you, right? You need to be smooth. You need to be so smooth that they don't even realize they're being interviewed, right? So when we do our remix of the mock interview, our lucky volunteer is gonna be smooth, right? You're gonna find ways to kind of break the ice, right? Just start up a conversation and then start asking the questions, okay? Anything else that you noticed? How many of you have ever been interviewed before? Anybody? Oh, way in the back and in the front. What do you remember about the interview? Well, I was going for a job interview, but I didn't think it was actually, well, I didn't think it was an interview because I was just going to hear my application. Right. So I didn't really go professionally dressed or anything. And then she caught me off guard. So um, I answered, but I realized at the end that it was, an, um, it was actually an interview. But it made me feel better because I wasn't actually worried about that means that it was an interview, so I was really nervous, and I was just answering, and went, like, really, it went all right. And then at the end, I was like, oh, crap. I didn't know it was an interview. So the interview that wasn't supposed to be an interview that became one, right? But because you were off guard, you were more casual, right? You were more relaxed. You probably gave better answers than you would have if you had had that list. You'd written down every answer to every possible question and had it written on an index card. The last time I interviewed for jobs, I'm not kidding. They had questions on the front and then elaborate answers on the back in like eight point font typed out. Every possible scenario, right? Whatever question they give me, I'll know an answer for. Your interviewees likely aren't going to have that, right? But you want to try and set them at ease.